Okay, so let's take a few and talk about the uh, blast cans. There's a couple blast cans on this uh, AR-15 rifle and AR-15 pistol right here. And these are from Gun Tech. Very inexpensive blast cans. These thread right onto the uh, barrel directly. Uh, I do have another blast can on my FX9. That's from Gun Tech as well. But that one threads over... Uh, a muzzle brake, so that's kind of a two-in-one type deal. I could have it on if I wanted to direct the blast forward, or I can take it off, and it'll uh, it'll be just pretty much a brake. So, what is a blast can? Well, here it is. This is a conical-shaped blast can. That means it comes out from a cone inside here, and its sole purpose is to direct the muzzle blast and everything forward of the user. So, uh, what does that mean? Uh, that means it takes away a little bit of the bite, especially with the AR-15 pistols when you have a short barrel. It takes a little bit away of the blast, the snap, all that good stuff. But uh, how much does it take away? And the truth is not a whole lot. It kind of takes the edge off. Outdoors, you notice it quite a bit. Uh, that makes a huge difference outdoors. Indoors, you're not going to notice a huge difference. There is going to be a difference. But keep in mind, if all I do is I direct all the blast and sound waves forward, all it's going to do is bounce off the walls that are ahead of me and come right back. So it's going to take a little bit of the edge off, but it's not going to make it a quiet rifle or pistol. So please keep that in mind. If you're looking for one of these, these will not act like a suppressor in any way. Uh, you're still going to be loud. It's just taking the edge off. Just think of it that way. You're taking a little bit of the edge off. You're still going to have a muzzle flash. It's just going to be different. It's just going to be more directed in front of you. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, with the rifle, I haven't tested the rifle, so it may not be muzzle flash, not much muzzle flash on the rifle. This pistol, yes, there is still a muzzle flash. It's just not as bad as if I put a muzzle brake on the thing or if I ran the pistol without any type of muzzle device at all. So bottom line is, you know, look at these. They're a great option. They're inexpensive. I mean, what, 20-something uh, odd dollars a piece is what these things cost, uh, give or take. So it's an inexpensive option. It looks good on the gun. I know some people like to talk about looks, and there's nothing wrong with that. So it looks good on the gun, and it performs as advertised. It directs the blast forward. There's no negative impact on the recoil. Uh, that being said, it's a 5.56. 5.56 five, 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 guns don't recoil. They just don't. So there is no real negative impact as far as uh, controllability of the gun. Uh, I know that muzzle devices like muzzle brakes and stuff, they really help negate the recoil, but you have to look at uh, what are you using the rifle for. If you're going to be a hardcore competitor uh, and three gun, then I can see using a break because uh, sometimes those matches are, are measured in, you know, half second, quarter second, whatever. So you can, you can use every little edge that you can get uh, to be real competitive. I totally get that. In a home defense or taking a rifle out in the woods uh, to, to help protect against any, you know, four-legged critters that might be out there, I mean, I, I don't know. A muzzle brake is fine, but it's not a necessity. So I decided, you know what, let's try out these blast forward, these blast cans, these blast forward devices and see how they work. So far on the pistol, works good. I still get some muzzle flash, but it takes the edge off as far as the report and the concussion and all that good stuff, so not a bad deal there. More to follow on the rifle, because I'll take that out hopefully this weekend, and I'll do some stuff with that and kind of go, go from there, but I imagine it's going to be about the same. So uh, check it out if you want something a little bit different other than a standard flash hider or muzzle brake. This is kind of something that I see on a lot of, I, I see on a few guns, but I don't see on a huge amount of guns. I, I should put it that way. So anyway, um, here it is again. I'll just kind of show you up close my pistol here. There is, there it is in all of its glory. Very simple. Again, threaded right onto the muzzle and it's very secure. Um, it doesn't come with a crush washer. I just use the crush washers that I already have. Uh, that I already had on the muzzle, and I just kind of indexed it so that way the slots here are even horizontally. So that's just how I put it on. But it's conical shape inside, so it doesn't really matter. You can just thread the sucker on, it looks like, tighten it down, and you're good to go. 
So, all right. Thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to leave your comments, all that good stuff. I just wanted to show that to you and give my take on it. Yeah, I think it's a good muzzle device, but just make sure to realize you're only taking the edge off of things, especially if you're going to use it indoors. Uh, you're still going to have the blast. You're still going to have the flash, the concussion, all that stuff. It's just going to be maybe slightly less and just directed in a slightly different way. So, all right. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, stay safe.